Hi, I'm Beatrice, the Community Manager of Gimmer. In today's video, we're going to answer one of the Gimmer's most asked questions, and that is how to send your Gimmer tokens to the platform. So, in order to run a strategy using the Gimmer bots, you need to hold GMR in the wallet generated inside Gimmer for you. For this video, we're going to use Yobit and Metamask as examples. Inside Gimmer, we click on My Profile, and you will see this number that is the wallet that Gimmer generated for you to hold your GMR tokens. In the balance, you see the amount of GMR you're holding, and next to it, you see the GMR in use. It's 500 GMR. Now we're gonna open the exchange website that you can buy the GMR on, and we are using Yobit for this example. We have bought 677 GMR, and now we're going to click on withdraw, and then a screen will show up asking which wallet address we want to transfer the GMR to. Now we're going to copy that wallet number from Gimmer and paste it in the withdraw address field. You can click on max to send everything, or you can set up a lower volume. Yobit charges 10 GMR as a fee to do the transaction. At the moment, the minimum amount necessary to run a strategy in Gimmer is 250 GMR. So since Yobit charges 10, you need to transfer at least 260 GMR. In this case, I already have 13,000 GMR, so I will choose to transfer 30 GMRs only. The fee will be 10, and I will receive in my wallet 20 GMR. And then I click on Withdraw Request. From this moment on, you can follow this transaction in the part below that says pending withdrawals. Here it shows the amount that I'm transferring and the status of the transaction. When you refresh the browser, it updates the information about this transaction. Since the Gimmer contract was created in Ethereum, it doesn't take long to confirm the transactions. You can also check the balance updated inside Gimmer as soon as the transaction is completed. Now we're going to use the MetaMask that is an easy wallet to use that doesn't require any software or blocks downloaded to work in your computer. It's a Chrome extension that interacts really well with DAX and smart contracts. It's available for other browsers as well, and you simply enable when you want to use it. We're going to use Google Chrome, and here we already have enabled MetaMask. If you use MetaMask, you will know how annoying it was when MetaMask used to disappear when you were browsing, but now it has a new tab option on this version that you can fully see your wallet in a new tab. That is very handy. One important thing you should know is that Yobit charges the fee according to the coin you're willing to transfer. We transferred GMR and the fee was charged in GMR. Now in MetaMask is different. The fee is always in Ethereum to cover the gas, so you must have Ethereum in your MetaMask wallet in order to transfer your GMR. Now we're gonna click on the GMR I want to transfer. In case you have more than one wallet imported inside MetaMask, it will ask which one you want to select. I'm choosing the one I have the ETH. Click on Next, and if everything is okay, click on Confirm. If you leave Chrome open, it will show an alert saying when the transaction is completed. These are the two transactions I made a couple days ago, and this one was the one I just submitted. If you click on it, it will open another scan, where you can keep track of what's happening, how many blocks it took to confirm the transaction. If I click on Dashboard and then click again on My Profile, it updates the balance. It was 13,000 and now it has 20 GMR more from the Yobit transaction I made before. If I update the Yobit page, it also shows that there is no pending withdrawals. The transaction from MetaMask is also popping up from Chrome and the balancing gamer will update soon. That's it. If you have any questions, write in the comments. See you next time.